I'm not sure at this point there's much of a point in doing this video. I'm Foulmouth! F*** you, mother f Quack! Howdy there, Marty here, aka the Murdoch, and we're back in this video with um, about as close to a rerun as we get on YouTube, because why would you have reruns on YouTube? I mean, I guess if you just rewatch the same stuff over and over again, that's kind of like a rerun, but that's not really the same thing in a way, even though it would actually kind of is. Anyhow, um, I'm doing this video as a little bit of personal posterity. I recorded this uh, a long time ago because this video is going to be about the final, the 18th, yeah, 18th, yes, the 18th Halo Legendary Loot Crates. Even though I had filmed it, I just never really had the time to edit and upload it, which is really kind of too bad because I did crates 1 through 17 videos for those crates, and they were some of the most popular and successful videos on this channel. So I guess there's a little bit of a, a sense of finality and um, closure. Closure is actually the better word that I, I wanted to bring to the table by actually editing and uploading that video or this video. So um, if you still want to see that video, that unboxing that's way out of date, I, that's actually kind of cool. And a couple of people have actually asked. So that's why I wanted to do this video. It was kind of for myself. It was also for those few people that might still care. If you don't care about seeing the final crate, uh, I totally understand. Just feel free to skip this video, no obligation. But if you do want to check it out, I really appreciate it. Um, if you uh, enjoy my videos, you enjoy Halo, I'm going to continue working on videos for this channel. I'm really excited. I'm pretty revitalized in doing so, and Halo is going to continue to be one of the backbones of this channel. Amongst other things, uh, we'll do some Transformers stuff, maybe some wrestling stuff, and uh, really, we'll just kind of experiment and see how it goes. But um, we're going to cut to that old footage. I really hope you enjoy it. Hit the like and subscribe buttons. Uh, yeah, you know how it goes. Howdy there, Marty here, aka the Murdoch, and we're back in this video with a Halo Loot Crate review that is months and months and months late. Now, it's only at least three months late because of me. It's at least fucking six or seven months late because of them. I love Halo, it's one of the most important things in my life in a really weird way. I hope you all, are you all still enjoying playing Reach on PC? It seems like people are kind of simmering down on playing Reach on PC. But yes, we have the final loot crate. Those, those bastards like really limped like, and just hobbled to the end of this thing. Um, they didn't even give you a cool Halo loot crate box. They gave you a piece of tape right there. We paid for it, like, let's just do it. We're gonna, we're gonna finish up the series, and as always, Grandpa Knife, um, we're gonna open up this generic black box because they didn't have normal boxes. I'm gonna give you the first look, as always. I'm like, wait, I'm like, hold on, that's for the, this is for like the um, thumbnail. That's how, that's how out of it I've been. Anyhow, so yeah, get you guys the first look. There you go. First look, how does it look? To that camera there, to that camera, okay. We finally have uh, Noble Six here to uh, complete uh, the set for the, the Reach characters. I you know I loved Halo Reach when it came out. Um, I've talked about that a couple times this channel in various uh, Halo videos, I think. I see, you know, in hindsight, it's flaws for sure, but I didn't really look at things as critically back then when Halo Reach came out. I just enjoyed playing Halo. It's a very nice figure. Um, good representation of Noble Six. Really good molded in detail. You know, very subtle with the coloring. I actually think he might be too silver, honestly. I don't think Noble Six is actually supposed to be this silvery color. He's more of like a gunmetal, isn't he? Like, like his undersuit color, I think, is actually closer to his color. We always do the values. I think we say 15 bucks. You could do arguably more for a specialty series, super deformed figure, and especially shop. We're gonna say $15, right? That's fine. We have the pin, and very appropriately, oh, I got a gold one for the last one. That's cool. They stopped giving me gold ones, but this one's gold. We got the Warthog, very cool. We normally value the pins at $5. I don't really want to dwell on this lot because I know this would be a monster of a video, but it's a cool enough pin. I wouldn't wear it. It's too freaking big to actually wear, but I like having it to complete the collection. But here we have some kind of banner, it looks like. Ah, yeah, cool. We have like a, just a really simple UNSC banner. Yeah, it's not very well made. 
It's also kind of miscut. Hard to put a value on this, honestly, though. Like, I guess five dollars is about what I would. Even in a specialty shop, this is kind of a throwaway item, honestly. So we'll see. We're at twenty-five bucks. Okay. Ah, now this is a little bit of a cooler item and might be mildly usable. So it's a key ring, but it's one of the um, rip cord. What do you call that material? Cable cord with the uh, little C. It's funny, I had one of these before and someone told me what it was. It's like a, a carabiner, right? Yeah, you have a little carabiner there and you have a compass. So like as like a keychain, this is pretty neat. I actually might put my new work keys on there. I think that's worth 10 bucks from a specialty shop. You know, you don't get a lot of cool like branded Halo merchandise. So if you're looking for cool Halo merch, like eh, 10 bucks is pretty fair. If you want to be super conservative, we could say $5. We normally do conservative on here. So we'll say $5 for sake of being conservative, but I actually personally value it slightly higher. But we'll say five to put us at 30. So you have this little warthog blueprint schematic-y thing. I always think the effort they put into these are nice, but I don't actually put a dollar value on them. Same if they include like a rec pack or something. That counts as zero value. You know, you got an actually a nice green shirt. I like the color. I wanted more colors like this, like in the packs. Like we really only ended up with a couple. Okay, here we go. How's it look? I like the color. The feel isn't as nice as some of the shirts they've had in the past. Slightly rougher. It's not bad. I actually think it's an okay, like, picture of him. But it's also kind of like, eh, you know. So I think it's a nice shirt for gym shirt. Um, I'll call it good because I like the color. So there you go. A nice artistically rendered Noble Six. Not bad. I'm not gonna put it up, but not bad. Uh, so we'll say 50 bucks, we'll call that a win. For the most part, this entire time, I've recommended these crates. I think on the whole, they've been a pretty good value. I think they've been a good value, actually, especially if you love Halo, you love buying into the concept of the mystery packs or mystery crates. Like, you just have to appreciate that concept because part of what you're buying is the excitement. It's not just the product on, the, on one hand or the other. Like it's the excitement of the process. And that's part of the value in these things. I still recommended it as an experience. I'm still happy with it as an experience. I wish I would have done this video sooner. Um, it's gonna be a good year for Halo. We have Halo Infinite fucking coming out this month. <laughs> I'm an idiot this year. Definitely not this month. Unless you watch this video in like November or whenever the game releases. Well, I hope you enjoyed that pseudo trip down memory lane. I guess it's not really a trip down memory lane, although it just feels that way because it feels like this whole thing is kind of a retrospective. You know, the Halo crates were a really cool, really fun, relatively expensive journey if you think about it in terms of money, but I kind of just thought about it in terms of entertainment and investment. I liked making the videos. I really enjoyed sharing all the merchandise. There is just something that's really appealing and fun about the blind box or the blind bag or the blind pack whatever you want to call it they're all essentially the same thing they trigger certain endorphins in your brain and it's exciting it's like the thrill the hunt i really think on the whole they were a pretty good buy per box you know if i wasn't making videos on them no i wouldn't have bought all 18 boxes for sure but um i got some really cool stuff in some of those boxes and i want to talk about it just a little bit and then we'll sign off here i will say this even though this isn't really in order my absolute favorite item actually came in the very first crate which is kind of both good and bad if you think about it i also wanted to say first I'm not going to count pins or the t-shirts or clothing objects in this video. This is kind of more for like the toys and the merchandise. I'm not counting the figures either. This is just sort of the extras. But my absolute favorite item, let's get back to that, was in the very first crate. I think they were, it was Spartan 4 Initiation was the first crate, was what they called it. But um, the item was the crossbody bag, the backpack, the UNSC, uh, yeah, backpack. Just like the one strap deal. I really like those in general. My main camera bag is kind of a similar style, but that bag was really cool. Um, it had enough capacity that I was able to have pretty much my whole on-the-go like vlogging kit, which I, I took to Maui on our honeymoon. And it's like that was just like, a really convenient bag to have, and I still really like it and I still use it. So that bag, like, what a great item. Um, the next thing that really came to mind, number 17, Renegade, it was the Emil, um, flask. <laughs> I was doing that because of the, the, the face thing, but it was like the, the gold flask with the, you know, the Emil paint face thing or whatever uh, on the visor, and you know, the, the flask was gold, and it was just really cool. Admittedly, I've not actually used it for its intended purposes, but I've used it as like a display piece. And the next thing that came to mind was, oh, I absolutely loved the uh, flood parasite plush thing, a little, uh, you know, uh, flood thing. So that was really cool. Love that. That was from 
Uh, Quarantine Zone was the name of that one. That was crate number eight. The next thing that comes to mind was from crate uh, number seven, uh, mostly because it was on this list there. <laughs> um, it was from The Awakening. It was the UNSC Dop Kit, the toiletry bag. I literally kind of tentatively use it almost every day because I keep a bag of sort of like just toiletries and emergency type items in my car. And it's a relatively dur uh, durable canvas-like bag. And it's, it's cool. It's cool looking. And finally, the last thing I want to talk about is the Gravity Hammer bottle opener. Just once again, a really cool, unique item. A lot of cool, fun items. They did a really good job overall. And if they do something similar for Halo Infinite, uh, I will definitely be in for that. So that's um, pretty much gonna do it for this one. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was kind of outdated, but hopefully some of this fresh material was at least entertaining on some level. Uh, so if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the like button, and if you'd like to see more from me, more Halo content and cool stuff like that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. As I always say, it makes me feel like I accomplished something, but otherwise, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye!